Uh, Reza, this trading of insults revealing just how bad US-Iranian relations are right now. Uh, it does. If anyone had any doubts that U.S.-Iran relations uh, were bad, uh, this uh, uh, Twitter exchange should should erase all those doubts. This is probably the clearest indication yet uh, that U.S.-Iran relations is deteriorating, and it's hard to predict how, how much worse it's going to get. And consider the contrast between now and 2015. Of course, in 2015, the U.S. under then-President uh, Barack Obama uh, utilized uh, a policy of, of cautious uh, engagement that led to the uh, signing of the nuclear agreement between Iran, the U.S., uh, and the world powers. That agreement, the negotiations characterized by diplomacy, civility, uh, compromise. But last year, out went uh, President Barack Obama. I'm sorry, it seems we've lost our correspondent Reza Zayed there from Tehran, but let's try this again. Reza, can you hear us now? I can hear, I can hear you now, so let's, let's pick that up. Uh, last year, uh, out went uh, President Barack Obama, in came Mr. Trump, a policy of confrontation and of course today, yes, we had Mr. Trump uh, threatening uh, Iran. We should point out that Mr. Trump's tweet is seemingly a response to an earlier statement by Iranian President uh, Rouhani saying that peace with Iran would be a mother of all pieces. But he also offered uh, a seeming uh, threat saying that war with Iran would be uh, the mother of wa all wars. And Mr. Trump obviously didn't like that. And in came the tweets uh, overnight. Reza, how will Iran respond? I think the response up to now uh, is a clear indication. We've had no reaction on Twitter by Mr. Rouhani, no reaction uh, from the Supreme Leader in, in, the, in the foreign ministry. So my impression is that they're not going to engage in a war of words on social media uh, with Mr. Trump. And that's been par for the course ever since Mr. Trump uh, took office. They haven't uh, engaged uh, him, not only when it comes to the policy of confrontation, but with his unique mannerism and aggressive style uh, on Twitter. And that's probably for two reasons. Iran is aware that that's Mr. Trump's strength. He likes to lock horns with world leaders, his rivals on Twitter. They don't want to get into that kind of match. And they also are aware, Iran is, that Mr. Trump's reputation and public opinion in the international uh, community is not very good. And my impression is they believe that tweets like this by Mr. Trump are further going to damage his reputation in the international community. And that's something that Iran doesn't mind seeing. So I think very little reaction for Iran moving forward. Reza, 